Hello everyone. Today we're going to be creating virtual terrains using the resulting files from PIX4D with Virtual Surveyor. The files required to create terrains in Virtual Surveyors are two files that are created by default with the default settings of PIX4D. The ortho rectified TIFF or the image file and the other is the DSM TIFF which is a digital surface model with elevations. Both of these are raster files. It does not use the LAS file. An LAS file is a LiDAR format file, but these files come from PIX4D and have RGB values only. They do not have any return values. The benefits to Virtual Surveyor are smaller file sizes. Most of the files will be smaller in size using the two raster files than the LAS file by itself. It is much easier to edit the terrain in Virtual Surveyor, such as removal of trees or buildings. The user has fine control of break line points and gridding. Virtual Surveyor exports data in DXF shape or text format so you can read it into virtually any CAD package or GIS package. Virtual Surveyor uses two of the files produced by PIX4D with the default settings. The ortho mosaic, which is located in two underscore mosaic and is a TIFF file. Also, it uses the DSM, which is in the folder one underscore DSM, and it is also a TIFF file. You'll notice that the TIFF file is 137 megabytes versus the LAS, which is 2.9 gigabytes in size. All of these files are located under 3DSM ortho, and these are the only files you should be using with PIX4D because they're the only files that have been smoothed and noise removed, as I have uh, explained in a previous video. Now I'm going to create a train using Virtual Surveyor. The first file I'm going to get is the ortho TIFF that I showed earlier. You'll notice it automatically picks up the coordinate system that the file was created in in PIX4D. The next file is we're going to need the DSM file to get the elevations for our terrain. And you can see that it read in and it extracted the same coordinate system from the TIFF file. And these coordinate systems should match. They should both be the same if you've processed everything correctly. I have given my project a name and now we will create the terrain. Now here is the finished file that was created using Virtual Surveyor and using the files from PIX4D. As you can see, we have nice stockpiles and a great terrain. You can also view by slope colors, which is very handy for picking out the bases of stockpiles. I'm now going to close Virtual Surveyor and open up some files in Global Mapper to show you the difference between the DSM TIFF that we get our elevations from in Virtual Surveyor and the LAS point cloud. I'm now in Global Mapper and I've loaded the DSM TIFF, which you can see by the colors going from 592 at the lowest elevation to 640 and we're colored from blue to red. I have now loaded the DSM TIFF into Global Mapper along with the DSM LAS file or the point cloud file. I'm going to toggle on the point cloud file now and these are currently colored by RGB values that came from the drone. I can also color those by elevation. And you can see nothing has changed to the vertical scale on the left. But we're going to take this just a little bit further to prove that the LAS and the DSM file 
and the terrains that are created by Virtual Surveyor are accurate for surveying work. What I have done now is use the Profile tool in Global Mapper to create a profile. You can see in the bottom part of the screen the ground is designated by the light green and you'll see a gray line along the top. That gray line are points in the point cloud. I'm going to toggle off those points and you can now see the DSM TIFF that comes from PIX4D. I'm going to turn them back on and as you can see the LAS points are right on top of our profile line so you gain nothing by using the LAS point cloud file coming from PIX4D. Now I have used the profile tool in Virtual Surveyor to create a profile in approximately the same location as the profile that was created in Global Mapper. And you can see they are virtually the same. So you really gain nothing by using the LAS file instead of using the DSM TIFF and the Ortho TIFF to create a virtual terrain with Virtual Surveyor. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short video and look forward to doing another video soon on how to create a DTM with Virtual Surveyor.